Hey there, freaks and sickos. Welcome to my campaign. To be quite honest with you, I don't really care that much that I didn't win the election in Maple Grove. Life goes on, and I mean, I am going to do it again. I'm also going to outlive Trump and Trumpism, I promise you that. The thing about me and mourning phases is I get over those pretty quickly for some reason. Like, logic takes over, which I'm autistic, so pretty much everything runs logic first. If it ever looks like I'm tweaking in public, that means I'm uh, trying to think of the most logical thing to do, the most logical way to act. And despite getting last place, these results are still pretty impressive. In fact, 1794, hold up. On this year in 1794 in Minnesota, we had a better society than the one that white people ended up making, but I digress. Though I will say the difference is a lot slimmer here than in a lot of the rest of the country. Again, I digress. Still a very wide gap, though. All right, so super page up, maximize. 1794 is the number of votes I got. And I do not want to analyze this map right now. I don't live in this sliver. But I do live really close to it. I, 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 don't, I don't really know what to make of this. It's data. It's something that I could use for a future campaign that is going to happen anyway. Honestly, this looks like I made some ins with Republicans. I have no doubt, given this map, which is an overlay of Maple Grove, that... Uh, there have been there are some people that voted for Trump that also voted for me. That was the topic. So if I do something I don't normally do in the Zen browser, which is like the Arc browser, but Firefox. Not not as many features, but still better than Firefox. Uh if I fire this up, uh I see or I saw. Yeah, this uh, this thing. There was one from Kyle Kalinsky. There was one from Rationality Rules. Democrats Rationality Rules. I know what went wrong in the uh, 2024 election and the 2016 election for the Democrats, but not so much for the Minnesota DFL. I mean, there's a bit of a pattern. You can see how Democrats did a lot better in 2008 and 2012 than they did in 2016. Honestly, midterms count too, like 2010. 2014. Those were not good years for Democrats. But 2018 was. The only year that seems to be off pattern is 2020. But as you all remember, I'm not going to treat you like idiots. I know a lot of you are smarter than you make yourselves out to be on the internet. And that includes you, super fan of Skibbity Toilet. The reason Democrats did bad in 2024 is they didn't make people feel like they were listened to. And it was exactly the same in 2016. That's it. It's that simple. And for those of you who are more on the progressive side of the party, that's why. 
people are more into the Bernie Sanders types or the Tim Walls types who make people feel listened to. Tim Walls, if he ran for a third term as governor, um, yeah, he would win again. And the thing is that uh, Democrats don't have to accept at all that they are losing voters. Every voter that they've lost, it is possible for Democrats to get back. I know that sounds like a hard thing to stomach. It might be p impossible for people to... Uh... I know that Trump voters are in a cult. Every single one of them. There's no way to rationally vote for a politician like Donald Drawn. Trump, no matter how many times you say it, you try to give a reason for why this guy is good for America, he objectively is not. The policies do not math. And since 2016, Democrats have only been really focusing on why they're better than Trump, but not so much how. If Kamala Harris made the campaign only about the issues, she wouldn't have lost. But she didn't. If she had made the campaign about the issues, including the issues that happened under President Biden, regardless of whether or not he was responsible, I'm not going to get into that. If she had made it about inflation, about health care, about the cost of living, about housing. Yeah, she said what she was planning on doing. Sure. But she also made the election about Trump. And she did it, her whole campaign, in a way that people just didn't feel very listened to. It sounded like she was talking down on America, and it was the exact same with Hillary Clinton. That's not a good strategy. It just isn't. Another thing I'd like to admit is I like to go to greater Minnesota a lot more than uh, my mother. I am not scared to go up north because I know people up north have problems they want to feel listened to. And Democrats can craft a campaign where every American feels listened to by addressing their actual fears and give actual solutions to this stuff. Why didn't Kamala Harris say anything about the lack of competition in the marketplace? She would have kept Lena Khan, and a lot of people are concerned about these mega mergers that continue to happen, which takes power away from the consumer. A lot of people are concerned about power being taken away from the consumer. This trend towards monopoly is exactly the number one reason inflation happens to begin with. What enables it? And why people feel like they have no alternative but to pay the higher prices. I mean, I don't really know what else there is to say. And I need to know when to stop saying things and start listening to people. Like, I know that there is a lot of real concern concealed under layers upon layers of bigotry and blaming the other but if you take the time if you go to places that uh, a lot of people around here just aren't brave enough to go anymore well that's going to humble you a bit, little bit and you can take that with you and campaign on it in a more humble way.
And if the other guy just wants to be an attention whoring troll. Just let the people know that. Uh, really? I know you're all better than that. I know I'm better than that. I know you're better than that. I know we can be better than this guy. I've seen it. Even in his most passionate voters, I've seen it. That needs to come out. We need to be better than Donald Trump. If we want him to go away. We all want the world to be a better place. For ourselves, families, friends, and neighbors. So, let's do that. Let's make the world a better place by being better people. You don't need him to do it. You don't need Donald Trump to be a better person. Nothing tested. Nothing believed. And as always, subscribe if you like, and share if you care.